Oh, it's going again. So if you put 20% in, you will get 20% out. If you put 80% in, you will get 80% out. But if you don't put anything in, you won't get anything out. And there's only one person to blame, ourselves. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay. And uh, Okay, wonderful, getting it. And, and maybe you could tell by my message that I sent this morning that, that don't come on today and say you didn't have time. We give you a week. <laughs> we give you a week to do it. So that if I'd only given you 24 hours and then I'd said, then I understand if you say, well, I didn't have time to do it. I understand it then. But the fact that we gave you seven days, what's that, 160 something hours? It's 168 hours in a week? I don't know. I don't have to work that one out. Um, but the fact that we gave you a week should mean. But who was the people that did it? Let me just go through. I've been training all morning, so um, maybe I didn't see them. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So Faith and Mrs. Oladejo. Oladejo? Oladejo? How do I pronounce it? Oladejo. Doreen. 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 Can anybody remember what Doreen was eating? Doreen was eating her. Soaring, as we'd mentioned last week. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. So, okay. It's not finished. Okay, I'll do it later. Okay, sorry, guys. So, the topic that we're going to be focusing on today is the enemies of nutrition. Um, so, last week we were focusing on how to get more shows by by doing the the dinners from dinners. Um, just before we do quickly move uh, before we move on, just quickly, um, how did you find what you did last week? Have you been putting it into action? Did it work? Did you get more shows? Did you get more shows in the diary? Hands up if you managed to book some shows from using it. Okay, we've got one or two people at the back waving. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to be truthful. If you expect to, to listen to us doing it without putting it into practice and or you're expecting to book, book the show straight away, you're probably not going to get the results on dinner one, dinner two, dinner three, dinner four. Yeah, OK. Dinner five. Yes. And then it starts to come. It's like playing golf. If you're playing golf and you've never played before, will you be able to go out and play like Tiger Woods? Yes or no? No. But if you trained and practiced and got better and better and better, eventually you'd be able to hit the ball because <laughs> we might not be able to hit the ball straight away. But the more we train, the more we practice, the better we become. And then you'll see the results. Just like going to the gym. Hands up if you've ever been to the gym before. Hands up if you've ever been to the gym. OK, hands up who still goes to the gym. <laughs> nobody, nobody's still got the hand in the air think about it we go to the gym once and what do we do we look in the mirror and we go have i got muscles <laughs> have i got a six pack yet okay am i fit no we've got to keep going again and 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 then you see the results just like planting a seed you cannot plant a seed and look at the soil and say where is the crop We've got to plant the seed and we've got to weed it and feed it and water it and weed it and feed it and water it. Then eventually you get the crop. In fact, what are these, Langa? Um, these are my wives. Long beans. Long beans. There you go. So the, the, so the Filipino long beans, these are. So I can't wait to be eating them in, in August or September. We're going to get them, going to get them in the garden this week and then we're going to get eating. So let's get into the topic for today. Oh, please. Sorry, guys, I've just gone to bring up my notes and they're, they're not there. Let me go back into their flip chart. Then. There we go. Sorry, guys, I'd, I'd already prepared it before the training and then they're, they're not there. There we go. Super duper. So I'm going to go through this week, the enemies of nutrition. And then next week, we're going to go through the carrot test. We're going to go through those two. Excuse me. So what we're going to do um, is I'm going to read through them and then I'm going to get you guys to have a go. But there are some extra questions. Now, McRussell, I know you've done this training before. OK, so I'm looking for you to stand up. Hopefully, can you remember the extra questions that we've trained on before? Can you remember them? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I knew you would be able to. I remember you were a good student. I remember you'd listened, you learned, you applied, and you did the videos. But what I'm going to be doing, some of you are going to be hearing this for the first time today. It's crucial that we have a pen and a paper. Crucial. Because I'm going to be needing you to make notes. There you go. Look at that. See, even though Solomon's the dealer, he's got his pen and paper there. So. Um, so let's go into here. Um, let me bring it up. If I, no, let me explain something first. Within our presentation, let me explain the psychology behind it. So on this page, on here, let me make it a bit smaller. Okay, so the, <coughs> the let's begin with nutrition page. The enemies of nutrition, the carrot test, and the solutions page. On those four pages is where the sale happens because we are showing them the problems. This is where we highlight the problems. Then we show them why they've got the problems. Then the evidence to back up why they've got the problems and then the solution to the problem. That's where the sale happens. So these pages have got to be strong. They've got to be uh, well rehearsed. They've got to be practiced. The section we're going to work on, though, today is this section here. It's only a small section. OK, it isn't the whole page, but I want to get it so we we are then able to perform this within a presentation. One thing you have to be careful of when we're doing the enemies to nutrition is understanding that you can't go in and start beating the person up. You can't go in there and start going, well, the first one is peeling. Now, anything that's grown under the ground, the because if you go in there and start, start sort of firing at them, actually the customers can close down or they start firing back and fighting back. For example, um, the lady in the black, in the, in the, is it a black dress or a, a black skirt at the front with the white top? The tall lady. The one rubbing her eye. What's your name, please? There you go. What's your name? What's that? What's that? Winifred. Winifred. Good name, Winnie. Um, Winifred. Okay. Name, Winnie. Uh, Who okay. taught you to cook? Who taught you to cook? I learned it myself. You learned yourself. Okay. Did your mom? Did your mom help you? Okay. Did your mom teach did your, you? Did your mom help you? Did your mom teach you? No, sir. I, I picked the wrong person. You're like me. You're like me. I was. I was brought up. What about your grandmother? Yes, my grandmother. Right there, you go. You're the same as me. My grandmother taught me to cook. You're the same as me. So, um. It's the echo that I'm getting coming back. It's delaying it. So, um, you loved your grandma, your grandmother, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, very much so. Okay. Who taught your grandmother to cook? <laughs> her mom. Okay. Who taught her mom to cook? Hey, who taught her mom to cook? Okay. You get what I mean by this. Okay. You get her mean mom this. and her mom and her mom. We could keep going back through the generations. But let's be truthful with this. The people that we love dearly, the people who we hold dearest to our hearts are the ones who taught us to cook. Whether it be mother or father, whether it be grandparents. We hope my mother, my mom died when I was quite small. So my grandmother brought me up. But my grandmother always said that whatever you put in your mouth affects you from the hairs on the tops of your head to the tips of your toes. It affects everything. So we've got to be careful what we're putting into our mouth. So when my grandmother taught me to cook, she always cooked healthy. Boil, <laughs> steam, <laughs> roast, microwave, all of the things that we're going to talk about on here. But think about this. At this point of the presentation, 
are they suspicious? A little bit. Do they believe what we say? Not all of it. And we must understand that the customers won't believe everything that we say. It's the evidence with the carrot test that backs up the words that we say. But don't go in and start saying that um, uh, Winnie, Winifred, your grandma was wrong. She didn't teach you to cook right. Because how do you feel when I say that to you? Positive or negative? Negative. You actually don't like me <laughs> or you like me a little bit less when when I say that to you. And it's it's not that it, you understand I was I was doing that for effect, not not being serious with it. But you understand, hopefully, what I mean with this, that it, it's you've got to be a little bit. Cautious, but firm. So don't be too submissive, but don't be too aggressive. You just got to be understanding yet firm so let's go into it and I, I i'm going to read it first and then i'm going to give you the extra questions that we spoke about so nutritional experts say the average home can lose a lot of nutrition in their food because of how it's prepared and how it's cooked and these are the main enemies to nutrition and the first one is peeling okay i'm going to mention something to you when you say each one of these so when you say peeling when you say water when you say oxidation pause and let that information soak into the customer's brain so the first one is peeling now anything grown under the ground the vitamins are just under the skin above the ground in the center but a lot of nutrients in vegetables can be found in or just under the skin. And when we peel them, we lose a lot of the goodness. You can hear there, that was just simply reading. But here are the extra questions. So everybody get your pen and papers ready, please. So the extra questions, in fact, McRussell, can I test you? No, no, let me, let me say them first. Everybody get your pens and papers ready. So, uh, or just under the skin. And when we peel, we lose a lot of the goodness. So, for example, here's the question. What is the first thing we do with that? Sorry. What's the first thing we do with our root vegetables? Write this down. What's the first thing that we do with our root vegetables? So what's the first thing we do with our root vegetables? First thing we do with our root vegetables. McRussell, can you be the, the customer for me and, and answer these questions, please? We peel. Okay, yeah, you peel. And then question number two. What do we do with the peel? We throw them away. Okay. So question number one was, what's the first thing we do with our root vegetables? Question number two was, what do we then do with the peel? And McRussell said, throw it away. So what do we then do with the peel? We throw the peels away. Okay, throw the peel away. <clears throat> So question number three, what does that suggest to you if we throw away the peel? We're throwing what away the nutrition. Okay. So what does that suggest to you if we throw away the peel? We're throwing away the nutrition. So sorry. So question number four, would you rather throw the nutrition away or would you rather keep it in? Uh, I'd rather keep it in. So question number one, what is the first thing we normally do with our root vegetables? Question number two, what do we normally do with the peel?
What does that suggest? Question number three, what does that suggest to you if we throw away the peel? And then question number four, would you rather lose the nutrition or would you rather keep it in? And again, we have got this videoed, so we, we can go back. But let's let's do that again. So uh, the first one is peeling. Anything that's grown under the ground, the vitamins are just under the skin, above the ground, in the centre. But a lot of nutrients in vegetables can be found in or just under the skin. And when we peel them, we lose a lot of the goodness. So, for example, McRussell, um, what's the first thing that we normally do with our root vegetables? Peel them. You peel them. And then what do we do with the peel? We throw the peels away. <coughs> you throw the peel away. So what does that suggest to you if you're throwing away uh, your peel? We throw away the nutrition. Okay. So would you rather throw away the nutrition or would you rather keep it in? I'd rather keep it in. Wow. So, okay, thank you very much, McRussell. Analyze what McRussell was saying there. It's like um, herding sheep or goats. You, you know when a farmer is, 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 is herding goats or cattle or anything, they herd them into a pen and then they close the pen behind them. Would you, you all understand what I mean by that? Yeah. And that's what you're doing with the customers. But listen to it. The customers are not, uh, sorry, we're not telling the customers that they are losing nutrition. We are not telling the customers that they peel. We are not telling the customers that they throw it away. The customers are telling us. That is the difference. By ask, Because listen to the difference here. Um, so, McRussell, the first thing you, you do is you peel and then you throw it away, which means you're losing the nutrition. Which one sounds more powerful? Or asking the questions or us telling Russell what he's doing? Us asking the question is more effective. Correct. Because the customers believe what they say, not what they hear. So by asking the customers, you're getting them to confirm to us what they normally do. And then they go, oh, wow, I shouldn't be peeling. I never thought about that. I've always peeled. So let's go to somebody in the office. I'm going to go to one of the gentlemen first. Um, uh, I'm trying to, uh, is it O'Costomus uh, in the white uh, shirt? Is it O'Costomus in the white shirt? Let's... There you go. See, I, remember, I always remember your name, O'Costomus. You See, I, remember, I always remember okay. your name, O'Costomus. O'Costomus, come, uh, come forward for me, please, sir. Come to the microphone. I want you to do peeling. Come to the microphone. I want you to do peeling. So I'll be the customer. So I'll be the customer. It's try to say that the average home can use a lot of nutrition in their food because of how it is prepared and cooked. These are the main elements to nutrition, and the first one is peel. Anything that goes, any, any, anything that's grown under the ground, the vitamins are just under skin, above ground, in the center. A lot of the nutrients in vegetables can be found in or just under the skin. And when we pay, then we use a lot of goodness. What the first thing we do with that vegetable? Um, oh, I, I peel them. Oh, I, I peel them. Okay. What do you normally do with the peel? Oh, we throw it away. What does that suggest to you? Well, it suggests that we're throwing away the, the, the good part yes, of the vegetables. Throwing away the, the, the good part of the vegetables. Okay. Would you rather throw away the nutrition or keep it? I'd rather keep it in the food, please. 
Hey, well done, Ocosmos. Well done, sir. Everybody give him a round of applause. Come on, guys. Everybody give him a round of applause. Come on, guys. Let's encourage each other. So, well done. Let's go on to the next one now, then. Let's go on now down to water. So many vitamins and minerals are water. Now, let me say something. I'm going to read it as it's written down, but that isn't how we deliver it. And I will explain. So many vitamins and minerals are water soluble and water leaches them out of the food. That's why the water changes color when you cook your vegetables. For example, peas, green and salt, which is natural mineral dissolves. The part here where it says uh, that's why the water changes color when we cook our vegetables. For example, peas. What color does the water go when we cook peas? Write that down. What color does the water go when we cook our peas? So, McRussell, can you be my customer again, please? Um, so that's why the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables. For example, peas. What colour does the water go when we cook peas? The water goes green. Right. OK. And salt, which is a natural mineral, dissolves. OK, here goes the next question. Now, you're going to recognise this one. What does that suggest to you? So what does that suggest to you? Means we're losing the... I got, sorry, sorry. I hadn't finished. Sorry, Matt Russell. I was, I was letting everybody write it. So what does that suggest to you? If the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables. What does that suggest to you if the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables? What does that suggest to you if the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables? So, McRussell, what does that suggest to you if the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables? We're losing nutrition. Okay. Question number, question number two. So would you rather lose the nutrition or keep it in? Would you rather lose the nutrition or keep it in? Because again, the customers are now going, oh my God, water. I didn't realize. So when you say to them, most vitamins and minerals are water soluble, water actually leaches them out of the food. That's why the water changes color when we cook our vegetables. So for example, peas, what color does the water go? That's right, green. But salt is also a natural mineral and that dissolves within the water. So what does that suggest to you if the water changes color when we cook our vegetables? Right, so you're losing the nutrition. So would you rather lose the nutrition or would you rather keep it in? When you ask right, those questions, yeah, you'd rather keep it in. So when you ask those questions, this is when the customers go, oh, I'd rather keep it in. So that means they're closing the gate behind them ever using water again. Because they've just confirmed to you that they want to keep the nutrition in, which means then they can't use the water which means they can't then use their existing pots. The only way forward is salad master. So by asking those series of questions, the customers are now painting pictures in their head that they should no longer use water. Oh, customers, can you nominate somebody else, please? Whether in the office or out of the office, can you choose somebody oh, else to have out of the office? Can you choose somebody else to have your next? Faith. 
We gotta have the faith, the faith. I gotta have the faith, the faith. I gotta have the faith. Baby. I don't know the words. Do you all know the song? You all know the song by Wham. Okay. The next one is water. Take it away, please, Faith. The next one is water. Take it away, please, Faith. Okay. Now, many vitamins and minerals are water soluble. And water leaches them out of the food. That's why the water changes color when we cook when we cook our vegetables. For example, peas. When we cook our peas, what color does the water go? It goes like a, a greeny color. It goes like a, a greeny color. Okay. What does that say about water? What does that suggest? And salt, which is a mineral dissolves. Now, what does that suggest to you if the water changes color when we cook our vegetables? Well, it, it means that we're, we're, we're stripping the goodness out. We're stripping the goodness out. Fantastic. So would you rather lose nutrition or you keep it in? I'd rather keep it in, please. Keep it in, please. Well done. Well done, Faith. Good job. Well done. Well done, Faith. Good job. And you can hear with this now, and I understand that Ocosmos and Faith, they, they have trained on this before. Am I right, Ocosmos and Faith? So, so for some of you, um, Russell as well, so there's some of you that have done this before, but there's many of you who are new. So I want somebody who's new to come up and have a go, please. Somebody who is brand new, just put your hand up, come up. I'm looking for a volunteer. Or whether it's somebody on the call, maybe Doreen or Chioma or Mar Amara. Somebody who is new, don't be afraid. <laughs> What's your name, please, sir? What's your name, please, sir? Dominic. Dominic. Good name, Dominic. One of my best mates. Dominic. Good name, Dominic. One of my best mates. Okay, Dominic. Oh, let me put it on the screen for you. Dominic. Oh, let me put it on the screen for you. Nutritional experts say that the average oh, food sorry, food just the water. Sorry, Dominic, just the oh, water. Sorry, just the water. Okay, just water. Water. okay. Many vitamins and minerals are water soluble and water reaches them out of the food. That's why the water changes in color when you cook vegetable, e.g., peas, grain and salt, which is a mineral dissolves. So what color does the water go when we cook our peas? Um Oh, it goes like a green um, color. Oh, it goes like a green color. Great. So, what does that suggest to you? Go on. What does that suggest to you if the water changes color when we that cook suggests our vegetables? Water changes color when we cook our Um, it would suggest that we're we're losing the vitamins uh, it would and minerals. Suggest that we're we're losing the vitamins and minerals. Good. So would you rather lose the nutrition or keep it in? I'd rather keep it in, please. I'd rather keep it in, please. Fantastic. Well done, Dominic. Well done. Well done. Dominic. Well done. Well done. And you know what? I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some uh, um, uh, some credit there. Because to get up when you're new and have a go takes guts because everybody else is looking at the word. So well done, Dominic. Well done. Well done, sir. All right. Let's move on now to the next one. And it is ooh, oxidation. Remember to pause after we give the, the enemy. So the next one is oxidation. Air and light can strip the goodness from our food. So when we bite into an apple and we pop it down on the side, what happens? What color does the apple go? It goes brown, exactly. <coughs> so if we don't uh, cook in an airtight container, we can lose even more nutrition. They say if you can smell 
uh, your food when it's cooking. You can smell the vitamins and minerals leaving your food. I'm going to change two words in there, and I have got authority to do this. Please don't, I'm not telling you to start changing lots of words. But I want to change the words from food to vegetables. I'm not allowed to edit it. It's on a, uh, a PDF, and I, I wouldn't, I would never edit the script. But you can see where it says, they say if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking, you can smell the vitamins and minerals leaving your vegetables. Because sometimes people will say to you, um, oh, but I can smell the chicken when it's cooking. There's no real vitamins and minerals leaving chicken. It's just uh, fat and protein, other things, but, but predominantly those two. So we're not talking about meat. We're not talking about fish. We're just talking about vegetables when it comes to this one. But I'm gonna ask the same questions again. So they said, if you can smell your, uh, smell your vegetables when they're cooking, you can smell the vitamins and minerals leaving your veg. Write this next question down. What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? So it's the same question as before. What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? So, um, Solomon, what does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? You're losing nutrition. Okay, so would you rather lose the nutrition or would you rather keep the nutrition in? That's question number two. Would you rather lose the I'd nutrition keep... or keep the nutrition in? Great I'd choice. rather keep it in. Okay. Again, guys, we're closing the gate behind the customer. They now go, right, okay, so now I shouldn't be using oxidation. But guess what? That's the third time we've asked that question. What does that suggest to you? Um, if we throw away the peel, what does that suggest to you if the water changes colour when we cook our vegetables? What does that suggest to you if you can smell your vegetables when they're cooking? So the customers now start to go, I get it. I understand this now. And remember, you're not beating the customers up. You're simply asking questions. Telling isn't selling. So, um, Dominic, can you choose somebody else to go next and do oxidation, please? Choose somebody who is also new. Sorry. Who have you chosen, Dominic? There we go. Have you chosen there we go. Come on, guys, everybody give her a round of applause. Come on, guys, everybody give her a round of applause. What's your name? What's your name? Joy. Joanne. Joanne. Joy. Joanne. Joy. Joy, Joy. Okay, Joy, take it away. Oh, you can do oxidation. Okay, Joy, for us, take it away. You can do oxidation for us, please. Oxidation. Air and light are two goodness from our food. When you bite an apple and put it on the side, what happens? So if we don't cook, it goes brown. It's air tight. It goes brown. Okay. So if we don't cook it in the air tight container, we can lose. Every more nutrition, even more nutrition. They say if you can smell your vegetable when it's cooking, you can smell your vitamins and minerals leaving your food. What does this suggest? What does this suggest? If you smell your vegetable when cooking, um, it suggests that we're losing the the vitamins. Um, Fantastic. Would you rather lose your nutrition or would you rather keep it? I'd rather keep it in, please. 
I'd rather keep it in, please. Well done. Well done. So you can hear with this now. It's actually very simple. It's actually very simple. Oh, can we mute? Can we mute the off? Sorry, so I don't get there. Can we mute the off? Sorry, so I don't get there. There we go. I think you muted. Okay. Superb. Um, it's very simple. The questions are very repetitive, but it's done like that on purpose. Never be afraid of asking questions because questions are your best friends in the show. Let's be truthful. If you're asking the customers their opinion, what does that suggest to you? That's far more polite than saying, so what you're doing is you're killing the nutrition whenever you're cooking it and you can smell it. That is quite aggressive. Simply asking a question and asking their opinion that is how you sell a product. So the next one is high heat. We put our food into a pan and we bring it up to 100 degrees Celsius. Now, if we wanted to sterilize a baby's bottle, we could boil it in water, couldn't we? So what do you think happens when we boil our veg? Or what, what does that suggest to you when we boil our veg? McCrussell? Oh, no, let me go to Amara. Amara. What does that suggest to you when we boil our veg? Or Chioma? Chioma Duru? Chioma, let, let you be my customer. Okay, sir. I'm ready. So what, so what does that suggest to you if we boil our veg? We um will kill the nutrients. So would you rather kill the nutrients or would you rather keep them in? Write this down, guys. Would you rather so what does that suggest to you when we boil our veg? And would you, so would you rather kill them or keep them in? We'd rather keep them in. Great choice. Okay. Chioma, it's your time to shine, please. See if you can do high heat for us. High heat. We put our food in the pan, we bring it up. To 100 degrees. If I want to try to sterilize the baby bottle, I could boil it in water. Couldn't I? Yes. Couldn't I? Yes. So what do you think happens when we boil our veg? Um, what? I'm guessing we're killing the nutrition. We're killing it. All right. So um, next time you have to boil your meal, will you rather keep it or keep the nutrients or will you rather remove it? I'd rather keep it in the food, please. Fantastic. Okay. Um, maybe I wouldn't add in there. So the next time you boil your veg, because then you're telling them that they're going to go back to boiling. So if you say the next time that you boil your veg, that means okay. that they that, that means that they're going back to their existing cookware. So I, I would drop that little section. And I, I'm being right. critical because words mean everything at this point. So our words become the customer's thoughts. So you may think it's okay just to ad lib a little bit, but please don't. Let's be let's be let's be, let's be highly trained. Chioma, well done. Okay. So let's go down to in fact, no, let's get somebody else. Chioma, can you choose somebody else within the office? Bear with me, guys. Sorry, that somebody's at the door. Chioma, can you choose somebody else within the office, please? Mr. Cosmos. I pick Mr. Cosmos. Can you hear me? Mr. Cosmos has done already. You would have to choose another person. You can nominate Philip. Oh. I nominate Philip. Philip, are you there? And Shoma, your name sync has been nominated. Shoma. Oh, all right.
Hello, guys. It's my Father's Day present. My, my wife told me that to expect the, the doorbell to go. To expect the, the doorbell to go. So I apologize. Okay, so um, whose turn is it? What's okay, your name, so, please? Um, whose turn is it? What's your name, please? Chioma. Chioma. Okay, Chioma, take it, Chioma. take it away, please. Okay, Chioma, take it, take it away. Hi, kids. We put our food in a pan, bring it up to 100 degrees. If I wanted to sterilize the baby's bottle, I could boil it in water, put inside. Yeah. So what do you think happens when we boil our vegetables? That means that we're, 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 we're killing the nutrition. We're, we're, we're killing the nutrition. What does this suggest to you? Would you rather use the nutrition or keep it in? I'd rather keep it in, please. Keep it in, please. Well, well done. And you can hear with this that... Um, you can hear this that... You're keeping um, it simple. You're reading from the script and then just asking a couple of questions. But now that we are now in the, the fourth and fifth and sixth times of asking the questions, the customers know what's coming next. So when we say steaming, they just go, oh, God, steam. right, I get it now. I get it. Steaming is not going to be great. So when we say the next one is steaming. Now, steaming is better than boiling, but it occurs at 100 degrees plus and it's a wet heat. Now, if you read the small print on a new steamer, it says we should only steam for a few minutes. But unless you like your food and vegetables half cooked, we steam and steam and steam until it's all cooked, soaking the vegetables. And if you look at the water at the bottom of the pan, it's still green from the broccoli and peas and or orange from the carrots. Here comes the question again. Write it down. OK, you, you can if you don't need to write it down, though. What does that suggest to you? So you could even do inverted commas. What does that suggest to you if the water changes color at the bottom of the steamer? What does that suggest to you if the water changes color at the bottom? So what does that suggest to you if the water changes color at the bottom of the steamer? What does that suggest to you if the water changes color at the bottom of the steamer? What does that suggest to you if the water changes color at the bottom of the steamer? Okay, wow, we're killing the nutrition. So would you rather kill them or would you rather keep the nutrition in? And they will say, I'd rather keep it or whatever it may be. So, um, Shilma, can you choose somebody else? So the lady who's just been, can you choose somebody else to do the steaming, please? So who's coming forward? Who is it? There we go. We got somebody coming forward. Give a round of applause. Okay, what's your name, please? I think it's still muted in the office. I can't. I still can't hear you. Let me see if we can. Okay, I can't unmute. Francisca. Francisca. Okay, Francisca, take it away with steaming, please. Okay, she can't see the screen, sir. Steam 
Streaming is better than voice. You need to go closer to the screen. 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 Move closer to the screen. If the water at the bottom of the steam and turns, it changes color. It suggests that we're, we're losing the nutrition again. Yes, we're losing the nutrition again. Would you rather keep the nutrition or you treat us? I'd rather I'd rather keep it in, please. I'd rather keep it in, please. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Well done. We got through it. Well done. Look, and the main thing with this is, and no matter how nervous you feel, no matter how many times you go, oh, I don't feel comfortable doing this. It's essential because if you don't feel comfortable doing it in here guess what? You're not going to feel comfortable doing it in a house. So you've got to train and rehearse and get better and better and better. Hands up who has ever sang in a church. Hands up if you've ever sang at church. Okay. Anybody? Okay. Don't be shy. Put your hands high in the air. High in the air so I can see you. Right. Okay. A few of us. Now, what did you do for the days leading up to the performance? We trained. Because are you going to feel comfortable on that stage if you don't train? No. So let me get through the next two fairly quickly. Um, so microwaves cook at 100 degrees Celsius or more. And a lot of people say the food is different. Which would you prefer? A baked potato done in a microwave or one baked in a conventional oven? Don't go into too much detail on that. But just say, what does that suggest to you if microwaves are cooking at 100 degrees Celsius or more? It's killing the nutrition. So, what does that suggest to you? Well, I'd, 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 sorry, I'd, um, I'd rather keep it in. Or would you rather keep it in or take it away? And roasting and grilling. What temperature do we set an oven to if we're going to roast our vegetables? Yeah, exactly, 150 to 200. So, again, what does that suggest to you? Okay, and the customers will tell us now. They'll go, yeah, 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 I get it. It's high heat. It's killing the nutrition. Because we're asking the same questions all the way down the customers now understand it so and i apologize guys i i do have to just shoot off five minutes early today i've got another call that i need to be on at um at, at five to one so I, I i apologize i've got to shoot off in in just a minute or so any questions any questions on what we've just done there today okay what i'm looking for you you to do is to do the homework again People like people like people like Russell. People, uh, people like Russell. Cosmos and the experienced uh, people, people that like we have. I want, you to, people I want you to be helping the new people. I want you to be helping them and, and training them and helping them to develop them because, because that's how we're going to create a strong team. Let's work as a team, not individuals. Let's yes, go on. You've got a question. Not individuals. Yes, go on. You've got a question. Yes. My question is, if you are talking to the customer and you are asking all those questions that seem to be almost the same kind of question, and the customer feels somehow while asking all these kind of questions, you should know that kind of thing. What would be our response and reaction to such a customer? Okay, that's our belief that the customers are going to say that. Our belief. The I guarantee from, from the thousand presentations, let's say 900 presentations, after these questions were trained to me, 
I've had one to make three people who said, why are you asking me this question? That's all. So that's our belief system that we're going, the customers are going to ask us why you're asking me these questions. They don't. In fact, you get a better response from asking questions than telling them. If you tell them what they're doing wrong, that will get them more upset. So don't be afraid of asking questions. Don't be afraid of asking questions. Does that make sense? I promise. Okay, just okay. I have to take just one more because I. Okay, I have to take just one more because I. Yeah, yeah. My name is Jonathan. Jonathan is my name. In a situation whereby you find yourself in the house of a doctor. A medical doctor and the wife is the dietitian, and you are trying to put this kids of food together. And their response is that they are even more experienced and more advanced in that field than you. What do we do? Yep. You have to put them on a pedestal. You have, you to, have to say, now listen, I know that you're. You have to say, now listen. Fact, I know let me say something else. Doctors know nothing about nutrition. 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 Fact, they don't. Nutritionists do. But even with the doctor, you have to put them on a pedestal. You have to go, now listen, doctor. Listen, uh, 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 madam, I know you're a nutritionist. And I know you're going to know most of what I'm talking about here today. However, there will still be some that is new to you. Because I've never cooked for a nutritionist, which is under, which is known about Salad Master. Fact. They just don't know it exists. If you're cooking for a nutritionist, they love it. Doctors, you've got to, you've got to stroke their ego. You've got to say, now listen, doctor, I know you're a doctor and you're going to understand most of what I tell you today, but there will be some pieces that are new to you. So please do pay attention. Keep telling them. Keep telling them that. But truthfully, Doctors know nothing about nutrition. They know how to diagnose and they know how to prescribe drugs. That's what doctors know how to do. Fact. And a doctor told me that. A doctor trains for around about six hours on nutrition. Because it, unless there is a specific doctor to do with nutrition, then it's different. But a, a conventional doctor knows nothing. They know how to diagnose and prescribe. That's it. So guys, I've got to go. The, the, my next call is, is, is with the management. So my, my manager, so I, I'm already one minute late. Listen, I'm gonna send a video of me doing the enemies and I want everybody to send their videos in. God bless you all. Sorry, Russell, that I didn't get a chance to come to you. Work together as a team and I will see you at the top.